Let's update Forge 119.4 to 120. Oh, right, we found ourselves back in the show once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be updating our 119.4 project over here to 120. Now, this is luckily not too crazy. We don't have that many changes, you know, compared to 118 to 119. That was an insane update. This time, we're actually going to be done in a couple of minutes. Now, the first thing we, of course, want to do is we want to go to our build.gradle file and actually change things. Number one, changing the mappings to 120. Then continuing down all the way to right here where we find our Minecraft Forge one. And this is going to be 120, 46, and this should be 0.012. Let's double check. You can, of course, check this under the Minecraft Forge download page. And as you can see, currently 46.0.12 is the latest version. Phenomenal. And then we also have a dependency of GeckoLib. And that is, of course, also something that needs to update. And that is going to be 120. And the current version is 4.2. That's just like this, and we can double check this as well. So you can see the GeckoLib version 4.2, and then here, Minecraft version colon GeckoLib version. But there's one more thing that is very important, and that is we need to add the Mixin plugin right here to the build.gradle file. So we just want to copy over the ID over here, and we want to paste this into the top of the build.gradle file just below here, our Minecraft Forge one. If we don't do this, then we're actually going to get an error, and it's not going to run. But have we done all of this? We can go to the little load gradle changes right here, and we're just going to let this run through. It might take a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or two minutes or so. And once this has run through, we're going to continue. All right, here we are with a build successful two minutes and 13 seconds. So that is absolutely fine. We've gotten a few warnings, but once again, those should be all normal. As long as you get a build successful, you should be fine. And now on to the changes. Well, the first thing that's going to change in the tutorial mode class, you can see, is creative mode tab event build contents. That is no longer the name of this event. The name of this event has changed to build creative mode tab contents event and you just put this in, you're going to get an error here for the already existing tabs. These are the vanilla tabs, because instead of the get tab, you have to now do get tab key. And as you can see, if you do this, then the error goes away. So you just want to make sure that this is all done for the vanilla tabs for your custom tab. As of right now, no changes are required. And just making sure to get rid of the wrong imports, you can just hit control, alt and O, and then all of the imports are removed. And then we can continue to the blocks class. And that is going to be the mod blocks class. And you will see that the material right here no longer exists. So the general idea was that before you could just sort of copy a material and it would give you some properties for the block. However, now you can either make your own material or you can copy of an already existing block. In my case, I usually prefer to just copy a already existing block. You're just going to say copy blocks dot. And then for example, this one iron block. And that's just going to copy all of the things from the iron block, iron block. So if we actually go into this and we can take a look at this. So it would do the map color over here, the, the instrument and all of the other things would then be copied over. I basically highly recommend you just copy it from a vanilla block. If you don't want to, then you can also just say dot of and then you can do all of the things manually. So you can see instrument right here. We have the map color right here and all of the other things that we've basically been used to previously. But like I said, I'm just going to copy this. So this is going to be the stone one. And then we're just going to copy this and we're going to make this one be deep slate. And then this one is going to be the netherrack. And this one is going to be end stone. And that should basically, well, give you everything that you need for your blocks here in this case. And here we have another one for stone. So we're just going to do copy block stone and that's going to be fine. To get rid of the imports, once again, control alt and O and there we go. That is also done. But there's one more thing that we need to do, and that is in the item package in the creative mode tabs, because shocker, this no longer works the way that it works, because this is no longer an event that we want to call. This is a little different because now we actually need a public static final deferred register. This is exactly right of creative mode tab and call this creative underscore mode underscore tabs. And this is equal to a deferred register dot create. This is registries dot creative mode tab. And then just tutorial mod dot mod ID. And of course, ending it with a semicolon. Now, whether it is a deferred register, as always, there is a public static void register method with an I event bus called event bus. And this is going to register the deferred register. So we're going to say register passing in the event bus right here. And then we can actually do this inline. This is no longer a creative mode tab. This is now a registry object of creative mode tab, tutorial tab. And this is equal to creative mode tabs dot register. So Pretty much the same way that we've registered everything with a deferred register, right? Items, blocks, all of that is pretty much the same idea. This is the tutorial underscore tab. And this is equal to a 
supplier of creative mode tab builder. You can see it actually already suggests this to us. So we're just going to hit the tab key to autocomplete this. And if we were to end this with a semicolon, we actually have everything. However, this doesn't have the title. This doesn't have the icon and all of that. So we could, for example, just take it from right here. So we can just say icon and then all the way, including the title right here. So we're just going to cut this out and paste this in here. And you can see all is well. Now, all of the code, of course, is available to you, as always, in the description below in the GitHub repository. And once you have this, we can say Control Alt and O again. The imports are done. And in the tutorial mod class, we just wanted to make sure that we also register this. I'm going to put this right here. I don't think that it's necessarily important in what order you do this. However, I do feel like adding it to the very top does seem to make a lot of sense in my mind. And also one other thing right here down in the new creative mode tab events method right here. Instead of tutorial tab, this is now tutorial tab dot get. But before we start our mod, we have one more thing that we need to change in the meta in folder, and that is in the mods.toml file. Because if you go all the way down to the dependencies right here, you can see that tutorial mod depends on a Minecraft version between 1.19.3 and 1.20 not inclusive. So this means that we either have to change this to 1.21, or we can say that it is inclusive. Uh, for our purposes, we're just going to change this to 1.21. And that basically means that this particular mod can work with 1.19.3, 1.19.4, and 1.20x, basically. And with that done, we can now actually run the client and see if everything works. And here we are in 1.20 with the newest Forge version. And I mean, let's just go into uh, one of our worlds over here and see if everything still works. But I'm pretty sure that everything will still work. All right, here we are. You can see our custom block model still works. It is animating and it also does sounds here. We can also take a look at our tiger. There it is, our tiger. We have all sorts of things. For example, let's do the sampling here just for the sake of argument. Let's just grow this quickly and see if it will still grow. And there we are. We have a custom ebony tree and I mean, pretty much everything working. So that's how easy it can be to update to 120. As previously discussed, the 120 series will tentatively start on the 3rd of July. That is currently the planned date and it's going to be an extensive series. It's going to be very, very awesome indeed. However, that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So yeah.